Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Hope you're having a great day. Hope this video can make it a little bit better. They're gonna be showcasing our three-star fiddlesticks up against the Thresh Adventure, trying to continue to level him up as well as work on getting that Nova Crystal quest done so we can also unlock the new nightmares. Now, if you enjoy the video, like and subscribe, greatly appreciated, and let's get into it. All right, what relics do we want to go with? I think we're gonna go for another XP relic. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw that on. Uh, as far as a rare relic, we could go for just a, a Spirit Forge, but I think we'll maybe do that uh, later. I think we'll actually just throw on a Stalker's Blade just so that when he's summoned, he gets a, another strike going. I feel like that could be pretty solid while we're not really running anything else. Although when Fiddlesticks levels, I actually might want to try Deceiver's Crest. Normally when we play him, he's leveling. That would be kind of funny. Yeah, I think let's let's test out Deceiver's Crest. I think this could be fun when he levels up. We drop a crow storm to immediately terrify and gloom their whole board. Actually, let's do Shadow Wilds, I think. Oh, there's the nightmare, actually. Okay, so we have 11 champions to complete this with, which this is the non-difficult version. This is the not like six or whatever star it, the other one's going to be. So that's a lot of rewards. Damn. Uh, but let's go ahead and do Thresh, and this should help us unlock. Won't try the Fiddle Adventure. I don't know if we want to do a three and a half star with our fiddlesticks just yet. I feel like we'll just get absolutely destroyed. I don't think our level 16 fiddlesticks is really going to be able to stand up to, to this. Yeah, kind of kind of doubt it. Let's feel them out. Let's go for, I think, Thresh here. Uh, let's go for power here. Uh, sparring student gain a unit on the board is not bad. I think let's try to do a reroll. Uh, extra units. Yeah, that could be pretty nice. Let's go for Spideling. Oh, our Crow Storm's already burst speed. That's that's pretty awesome. I think we'll get rid of the Crow Storm. Yeah, while it's good, I think we'll probably rely on some of these first. Uh, this has play plant two nightmare copies of me. That's not too bad. How would you rate Evelyn overall now? I haven't played her yet, so it's kind of hard to say at the moment, to be honest. I think let's drop this for the immediate nightmares. Yeah, I think after this adventure, we'll probably maybe go and test out the uh, Fiddlesticks one. Had an issue with Eve that my board space didn't have space for new husks. Yeah. Fair, will there be videos on new champs? Yes, there'll be plenty of videos on everything. This is fast speed. I think let's drop a Nightmare. So I think we can go here and then just gloom that one. I think that should be fine. Yeah, looks pretty good. Do you think any of the three star champs without constellation is still stronger than the four stars or potentially even five stars? Uh, both Morgana and Master Yi are very, very good. So I'd say they would be in the, the running. So actually going for double false friend could be pretty good. Also, the fact that your false friend has arcane knowledge is pretty solid as well, because that means you're either going to pull out your crow storm or your reap. And your reap being a one cost is also pretty insane. I think let's gloom both of these so they have less blockers. We can then attack like this, killing that unit. They can't block. This is going to be a lot of Nexus damage with all that impact. So their deck is about to get wrecked. <laughs> we still haven't pulled out any Nightmares, though. The Nightmares can be really inconsistent. Uh, I think we'll drop our Arachnoid Horror for, again, more Nightmares in their deck. Uh, did they actually increase the level up for champions? Yes. Yeah, the level up is at 50 now. Uh, we could go for Shallow Siren. I guess we will. We kind of wanted to keep the space open for 
hopefully all the nightmares we're gonna pull out but oh here also our sapling but this is enough just to end yeah those nightmares they can be pretty inconsistent but they are trap cards uh spirit fire overgrown snap vine i mean i guess we can go for this like three cost triple invoke i suppose I mean, this isn't bad, but it's just too expensive. We don't really want to use a reroll here. Uh, Lucian's always fun. Yeah, I feel like let's go for Lucian. All right, let's see. Probably want to go for the shops. Let's go for a Stalking Wolf. Yeah, the, the Evelyn Four Star is the Biggle Dust Satchel. Uh, Bale for Seeker is nice. I like the Reap, but I don't think we want two of them. I think we'll run out of resources. Wait, can Ava double Nightmares? Uh, potentially. I feel like she should. Uh, let's drop this and just immediately kill that. Push back the darkness. Any idea if Fiddle will now become the best target for a Runeterra Nova Crystal? Um, I think he'll be up there. I think he's going to get pretty crazy when he's maxed out. Let's go for a Shallow Siren. And then we can attack like this. So getting tons of Nexus damage in. Anyone know if stacking the XP relics give you 20 or 30k XP? Um, I mean, they'll all be consumed, so it does kind of work. All right, so they'll be able to attack and kill a bunch of our units. We could go for a rally, but I don't think that actually be the best. Huh. Okay. Thank you, I guess. That's not too bad. I love that this is just a strike effect. Uh, let's go ahead and do our rally. It's also nice that since it's just damage down, it doesn't actually matter how much damage you're doing. So like each one of these is giving us the same amount of terrors or terrifies, which is just pretty great. Just obliterating all their cards. But yeah, these traps are quite inconsistent. All right, GG. Last breath, revive me next round. So the Shadow Tome actually kind of works for that. The issue is the can't block is not the best. I think we'll actually go here. It is expensive, but killing a unit and reducing down all of their power isn't too bad. This, I think, is just going to crowd our board with units that will end up killing us because we can't block. Mr. Thrift, when one or more of your traps or boons activate, plant two of it in that player's deck. I think we probably need to get that one for science. Ah, uh, the first time an ally dies. Ah, uh, it's not terrible. Let's get Mr. Thrift and see how it works. Because that could be interesting. Let's see, what do we have? Soul Gorger, another shop, or a slot bot. I think we'll go for the shop. We have over 200 gold, so we could get another common power. Uh, let's go for Jubilant Poro. Uh, let's get rid of Radiant, and we can hold on to the rest. We'll buy one bundle with Relic, but can't decide if Evelyn or Fiddle. I mean, I think the Fiddle one sounds more enjoyable. And I think it's going to be usable on more champions. But you do you. Let's drop the Nightmare. We might go for a Reap. Sure, we can just kill these both right away. All right, we'll go for our false friend and our Lucian. All right, so they spent all their mana on that, so they're not going to have any blockers. So that's nice. So we can just get some solid damage down. They only have 15 cards. Yeah, there's certain encounters where you're just going to absolutely destroy them because they just don't have a lot of cards. 
They're already down to 10. Out of the medium thoughts so far, uh, I like I like fiddlesticks, but you are having the same issue that Caitlyn kind of has, where you're having to rely on traps, and traps can be inconsistent. Like, we have half of our cards have nightmares, half of their cards have nightmares, and yet we're still not drawing any of them. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll take that that bit of a hit. So yeah, there is a bit of inconsistency. I still think it's a cool mechanic, but it's gonna be hit or miss with your your traps. Caitlyn's traps are at least top eight. Fiddles are somewhere hiding. Yeah. All right, let's go for false friend again. All right, so we'll attack. We'll put him last. We don't actually have that much. Yeah, we'll still be able to block. We could get rid of some of their blockers, but it also scale them up. All right, this will be fine. We're gonna need more coffins. Just played Nautilus and the toss mechanic counters the nightmares. Yes, I played the Nautilus one as well, and yeah, their toss can obliterate your units. Uh, sure, we can go here with the plunder. Oh, they actually put more cards back in their deck. So yeah, this is that is kind of the issue with Fiddlesticks, is sometimes you're going to summon him at the end of the round, and so certain effects aren't really going to be great. Like, if we had Gale Force right there, I think he would have been recalled. We're trying to run with the Crow Storm, but that just made it so... The zero cost uh, crow storm we got went back up, so a little bit sad. Uh, Haltzo, thank you for the sub, and Mr. Anik, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're a little bit, a little bit full on on cards, and we can't really spend any other ones. I guess we'll drop this here. Even the level animations are faster with the speed increase. You can blast through adventures. Nice. Yeah, we haven't done any of the increases yet. So one thing we can do since we have burst speed crow storm is we could drop this. They have one card left. And with our attack, Fiddlesticks is going to gloom them all, so they all should just die. <laughs> GG. Fearsome, grant an enemy vulnerable, draw a unit if an ally died, create two copies of me in the enemy deck. This is kind of funny, but it would fill up, it would give the enemy deck more cards, which would actually kind of be fighting us. Um, I think we'll go here. We have a lot of units die. A little bit more draw could be nice sometimes. Although Fearsome is also solid. Yeah, I think we'll go here. Uh, let's go for the shop, see if we can get a half-decent power. Draw two, not terrible. Give allies challenger, epic item. Yeah, I think we'll just go for flexible game plan. What card do we want to cut? Uh, I think let's cut the trifecta. And let's go for Tritomir. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Caitlyn with the fiddlesticks power is broken. Good to know. <laughs> The Star Crystal bundles seem worth it. I haven't really looked at their price yet. I need to look at that more. I learned my scars. Uh, let's drop a Mr. Thrift. I really want to see how he works. I, I've got this. All 
All right, I think let's also go for the horror to get even more nightmares going. And we will buff them up a bit, but let's just attack and do as much damage as possible. I'm ready, baby. All right, obliterate, not great, but the fact that they're using it this early on just one of our followers, not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and go here. I think we'll go for our Shallow Siren first. That way, when we draw, we'll get our Terrify effect. Push back the darkness. So yeah, they only have 17 cards. So they'll run out of those pretty fast. Middle Epic works really well in Kate as well. Yeah, I look forward to trying that out. All right, I think let's just attack, get as much damage down. I mean, kind of as we can. We're just trying to get all the Nexus damage to get more, more pings. I think if we skip, that will, that should trigger their death effect, I think. So if we go like this, oh, we don't, we're going to have one less mana, sad. All right, I think we'll pass. Yeah, nine cards left. Oh, we now have. Wow, that's hitting our whole board. I think let's save our Senna Strike hard. Strike true. and let's kill that unit all right not terrible we can then drop this here kill her hopefully our copy of fiddlesticks didn't get obliterated because we were full there for a moment brothers born from battle uh, let's drop this here. We'll make quick work of you. Also, it doesn't seem like Mr. Thrift is actually putting more nightmares back in. So I don't think a lot of the trap cards are actually working for uh, fiddlesticks. Which is like kind of sad, but also not that surprising to be honest. All right, let's attack like this. We'll get enough damage down that they'll just run out of cards and lose the game. I'll bring them peace. Just got fiddle six on turn one versus an enemy with 25 card deck. Interesting. Burn away the shadows. All right, well, like GG. Just uh, yeah, we're clearing through Thresh. Strike, draw one, attune. I think we'll go here. Love when you get the toss four spell from randomly generated card. Yeah, that always sucks. Uh, explosive finale can be decent. Cards you draw cost one less can also be fine. Explosive finale is really good when we actually start getting our fiddlesticks going. Quick draw would give us more units faster. So it help our flood our board earlier. Because like when we're killing units out of combat, it's mostly it's mostly with our fiddlesticks. I think we'll actually try quick draw because this could help us get more units on the board, meaning we get more damage down, meaning we get more terrifies going. So this could actually help us a lot. So we'll we'll try this one here. Uh, do we want to cut a card? Yeah, we get rid of the dawning shadow. So let's go for remitter, which the remitter would be a good one for uh, explosive finale. Try out Yeti on Thresh Bench to test his mill against created cards and the enemy deck. Hmm. Let's get rid of most of these.
All right, I think we'll go for the false friend, actually. All right, sad. I was hoping we'd get our other card. All right, so we can attack like this. I think let's just use this here. All right, not too bad. Yeah, a little sad that Mr. Thrift doesn't work, but I'm glad we were able to, to find that out. Uh, once again, let's drop our false friend. We're trying to get... Uh, we're trying to get our one fast speed spell. I don't actually want to block any of those. <laughs> it's a lot of damage. I think we'll just take, a, take the hit, to be honest. It seems a bit complicated to play with Fiddle. I mean, anytime there's a new gameplay added to the game, it's always a little bit figuring everything out. So we can go ahead and attack like this with our double false friend, which is pretty great because both of them are just hitting the entire enemy board. They're not going to have anyone strong enough to block us, which is pretty great. Also, we don't necessarily want to kill anyone. They probably will have us kill some units. Let's get some of these down a bit. Yeah, this will probably block some of our units, but that's that's okay. All right, so we had a unit die, so we can use this here for a little bit of extra draw. <laughs> nice. I uh, still would like to get our fiddlesticks. Sacrifice for a greater cause. So we could actually drop this here. Because killing that unit and then reducing down everyone else. I feel like that actually could be better than playing another blocker. Let's actually go for it. Uh, let's go here to get this out of hand. Just opened the Platinum Star Vessel, got a Demacian Star Gem. Nice. Alright, so we really need to reduce down the damage we're taking. We've taken kind of too much. But, we're having some of our units survive. So, oh yeah, we have to have this guy block here. Yeah, this is fine. Where'd you first go with Evelyn Constellation? I went overwhelmed for followers. I uh, haven't actually, like we looked at the Constellation, we haven't actually upgraded it yet. We have 15 cards, and that's a lot of nightmares. All right, Siren, I think into Seeker. So we can attack like this. Again, reduce them down. We'll get rid of their one unit that will be strong enough to block. And I think let's actually get rid of this one right here. Yeah, it is nice how the fearsome actually matters. Like normally fearsome on a unit is kind of like a dead keyword, but here it actually works. Yeah, they have major gemstone vessels now in the, the shop. So yeah. Deceiver's Crest, a little bit frustrating because, yeah, we're drawing him when we are when we are ending the round, so it doesn't actually go off, which is kind of what we figured, but we wanted to test it out. We're kind of waiting for them to play a bunch of units like that. All right, let's... I suppose we could wait for them to attack. All right, let's drop a Crow Storm. All right, they're out of cards. Only six cards left. So yeah, this is where 
the explosive finale would have worked out well. I was hoping to let us get to our fiddlesticks earlier going without it, but didn't make too much of a difference. This is actually really nice though, dropping a burst speed crow storm, which does a ton of damage. And then fiddlesticks attacking also does more damage. So fiddlesticks, when he's on the board, you really start pumping out a ton. I think let's actually go here. Do we want a rally? Ah, fine. We're actually pretty low on health, so we could be greedy, or we could cut a card. I think let's actually cut a card for consistency, but yeah, we're not don't have the most health right now. All right, let's go for the shop. Dawning Shadow. Uh, another elusive unit, not bad. Also has some trap synergy. We have an epic chest or epic shop right up there. I think we'll try to go here. We might not have enough for the hour, but we could potentially get some epic items. So we'll, we'll try to go against the Yeti Yearling, which can be a bit scary, especially because they have their effect that's kind of countering us, but we'll try it out. Fiddlesticks. There's also going for more traps, like again, Teemo or like Caitlyn would also be solid. Alright, so yeah, we can let this one die, that's fine. So yeah, they have 34 cars, and that's probably going to keep going. <laughs> keep going up. I think let's actually go for the Siren. I think it's going to be a little bit better than the Nightmare. Oof. Uh, let's grab that. Yeah, this will be an interesting one. These Yetis can be pretty tough. Azir or Aurelia actually great with Thrill 6. I mean, yeah, anyone that can also just ping the enemy next to for damage would also be really good. All right, we could go for a rally. They technically don't have any way to challenge our units. I think let's risk a rally. <laughs> Although we will get our sapling burnt, we could potentially get an attack in before they attack us if they try to develop a little bit more. Guess not. Alright, let's... Block some of these here. And then attack with both of these. That was interesting. <laughs> nice, fiddlesticks. Perfect. But again, it's at the end of the round, so our Deceiver's Crest isn't really helping us. Although he's not level yet, so that's actually decent. I think let's actually go for the, the Baleful. <sighs> they always, why do they always have Frostbites for fiddlesticks? <laughs> All right, I think let's attack before they play any more blockers. Yeah, we're one of the foes Yeti dodge created an enraged Yeti. Uh, so we could kill this, but it would they would keep scaling. So I think let's actually not try to keep scaling up their units. And sure, we'll give Fiddlesticks just a tiny bit of power so we get one more Terrify going. Oof, big stats. They don't have their Overwhelm unit, though, so it's not as terrible. Uh, let's drop the Arachnoid Horror and get some more Nightmares going. Fiddlesticks has gotten frostbitten so many times in my couple adventures with him. Kind of want to see a permanent map, Acel style boss rush, with Ascension Tolls and main gimmick. Any champion levels, both players discard their card. That would be interesting.
they are out of cards, though, so that's not the worst. Like, they have all this mana, but not too much they can actually do with it. I wish we had his level up effect. Because, yeah, we can drop a Crow Storm that'd kill one of them, but then buff up all their others. <laughs> I think this actually drop a false friend. Yeah, pretty much anyone is going to be able to block our fiddlesticks and end up killing him. We could reduce down their power a little bit. Also, we're going to have more fiddlesticks in their deck as nightmares. I think let's just push as much damage as we can. Yeah, let's let's go for it. I mean, it's still going to die. Oh, uh, yeah, fine. No! Yeah, it is hard to get our fail six to level up against the Yeti. But yeah, we do. We were kind of getting countered by them a little bit. We have 13 cards left. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. All right, I think let's drop a Crow Storm. And yeah, we can go for Lucian. All right, I think... Let's just try to block everyone, reduce down the damage we're taking as much as possible. Yeah, let's, Yetis are a little rough. <laughs> Alright, so we could drop Fiddlesticks already. I think we'll hold off. We don't really want to have him level. Yeah, I think we'll hold off and drop him this next round. Let's go for a Baleful Seeker. So this can get a kill, but again, kill just continues to scale them all up. But yeah, we're not actually getting Nexus damage down at this point, which isn't great. Yeah, I think attacking is not really going to do much because we're not going to get damage down. We would get one more Nightmare, but I think we actually need to hold off. Uh, not going, not going the best for us. I thought we'd still be able to brute force it, but yeah, this is rough. All right, we'll drop this. Get rid of their one regen unit. But yeah, Yeti's just getting so much free value since they're getting more units every couple rounds from their uh, haunted tombs. And yeah, the more we kill their units, the more the more benefit they get. All right, so we're having our units die so we can terrify more <laughs> from our Dread Harvester. And we didn't hit any nightmares from that. Oh, we are screwed. Oh, man. I was thinking with all those terrifies we were going to get, it's like, oh, we'll hit some of the nightmares. We have, like, over half. Oof, rough. Uh, let's get rid of Crow Storm, get rid of Relentless. We'll 
pass. Yeah, that figures. Wrong turn. Uh, this could give us some extra draw. Yeah, we'll just drop it here. All right, let's go for the, the siren. It'll be pretty nice. Should have the other one. Alright, we're gonna try to kill as few units as possible and try to terrify as much as possible. Oh, they keep summoning Yeti Yearling. And they get a kill. Oh, that's, that was not a Yeti. So not as big of a deal. Alright, big Overwhelm unit. That is... Not nice, although we do have our reap, actually. So yeah, I think we'd actually go for Shallow Sirens. Alright, so we are going to reduce that unit down. And then we'll block with this one here, being sure not to kill them. Yeah, that'll be fine. We're not taking a lot of damage. Our units are surviving. We're not killing any of theirs. Nice. Husk Power's new icon? Yes. Uh, Trifarian works wonderfully. Full board of Bale Seekers. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, you can still start with Fiddlesticks in your hand. Interesting. I haven't had that happen to me yet. All right, I think let's attack like this and then rally and attack again. Again, we're trying to kill as few units as possible. We'll try and get a lot of damage on their Nexus. So we can terrify them, make them run out of cards. We might do a double rally here. And yeah, we're really just trying to use our saplings to keep them low. Uh, no one wants to be able to block Mr. Thrift. So that'll be nice. But yeah, let's attack like this. We can actually kill the Trapper because he's not a Getty. And let's rally again. All right, so we could attack and kill their Ancient Yeti. We probably do need to. We don't want to kill their Yetis very much, but he does have Overwhelm. If we kill him, though, we can start getting in the Haunted Tomb. Yeah, I think let's still go for it. But we're getting a ton of Nexus damage down. So, they should lose a bunch of cards. Oof. Oh, Fiddlesticks, nice. Yeah, look at all their cards. Alright, they're down to 18. Ah, oh, but... They were down, and now they went all the way back up. Alright. Doesn't have Overwhelm. Let's... Go for the cheap Nightmare. Well, that figures. All right, we don't want this unit to die. These are great engines for us to get some more Terrify going. So if we can keep these Sirens alive, we're going to. Oh, uh, that's not good. All right, yeah. So getting rid of our Fiddlesticks, not too surprising. Getting rid of one of our Sirens, also not too surprising. All right, so we could drop Fiddlesticks again. I think let's go for a Redeemer. And yeah, we can drop this here for the one cost. Because yeah, every time we're drawing cards, we're terrifying them, which is great. All 
All right, they're at 16 cards. Keeping pace. Uh, this one is just going to die, but it's not going to kill them. Enemy has 15 or fewer cards, so he would actually level. Uh, let's actually play him over the Redeemer. We might want the vulnerable unit. Yeah, let's actually drop Fiddlesticks here. Uh, do you think Starforge will be his best build? Hard to say without actually playing with it. Uh, let's drop this here. Terrify and gloom them some more. All right, so we'll put this one here. They won't be able to block our fearsome units. Some will be able to block... Uh, they're actually out of cards. Right now with how we're attacking, these two I think will have enough. But if we use our Reap here... Let's get those to a little bit lower. All right, so none of their units can block our Fearsome or uh, Brash. So let's go ahead and attack like this. All right, GG. Easy. Uh, Lurking Nightmare, nice. Yeah, let's grab that. All right, so not quite enough to get anything there. Unworthy, give an enemy follower negative for Rally, Omen Hawk. I think let's try one here, see if, yeah, see if maybe we can get something a little bit lower. Revive the strongest dead allied follower, granted ephemeral, fearsome, give enemies negative one. This going off twice would actually be really good. Uh, four cost Rally, also not bad. One cost. I think let's actually go for Harrowing. This going off twice could be pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and cut a card. I think we'll get rid of the Dread Harvester. Unless we're getting this in the Nightmare, which is very inconsistent, it's not really going to help us. And let's go for Thresh. All right, let's get rid of both of these. Uh, Mountain... Mountain Ho? <laughs> Thank you for the, the follow. Appreciate it. All right, let's go for our Nightmare. Also go for our Lucian. All right, free Mr. Thrift. Not too bad. Also, Arachnoid Horror. Get some more Nightmares going. All right, so we're getting solid damage down. They're going to lose a bunch of cards. They do have 44 cards, though. Thresh is one that has a lot. What do you think is the best Evelyn build now? Uh, not sure. Haven't played her yet. Oh, Fiddlesticks. Wow, we got him early. All right, so we could drop our Fiddlesticks. I don't think we... Don't think we will yet. Although we could kill a lot of their units, but... I think we can let them attack. It's fine. Just clearing the point five for Legend Levels plus Wild Fragments now? Yeah. Middle six got the exact same problem as Kate, the RNG. Yeah. You should have enough Terrify later on that it doesn't matter, but yes. Uh, let's drop this here. And yeah, we can drop Fiddlesticks. Also, it looks like ad drops. We'll just pause and wait for anyone that's stuck in the ad. Is this two times speed? No, we're not doing that at the moment. I think we'll probably go ahead and attack and maybe try to just get some rallies going. 
Thresh is already leveled. These two can't block. Yeah, we can get some good damage down. Returned with interest. Uh, we don't have room for the heroine. Yeah, let's go for the, the rally. Alright, so this is the only one that's going to be able to block our fearsome ones, that is. And sure, let's just go for a little bit of extra damage. Alright, so they have literally one health, but 40 cards left, man. That's kind of crazy. Although that it did just drop a ton. <laughs> yeah, we just got rid of 10 of their cards. Lock the doors. But Thresh is going to pull out a champion here. All that boxes. We could use hmm. the bite. All right, so we can Stand strong. fizzle that attack. All right, this looks fine. Where? So Terrify could delete champions now. Ah! Uh, champion cards? I think so. <gasps> Mr. Thrift does not work with Nightmare, sadly. I think we'll save the heroine for next round. <laughs> uh, get their thresh back. All right, will we trigger a nightmare? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get for a heroine. Rude. Yeah, these are both doing four damage, so Radiant Strike isn't actually going to help it. All right, let's drop this here. Guess it kind of doesn't matter with our Overwhelm units. We can just make sure they block in the worst ways possible. All right, GG. <laughs> All right, so that took a while. Fiddlesticks at the lower levels is definitely a bit slow. But we're at level 25, which is nice. Thank you for watching the video, especially all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Greatly appreciated. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.